Hello and welcome to how to create your first uh, proof of work video. Okay, so um, these are the questions that are right below this video. So I've got the four questions that you need right here. And essentially you're just going to make a video using your FaceTime camera back at your face answering these four questions. It should take no longer than two minutes, okay? I don't need a 15 minute video about this. But what a proof of work video does is it lets me know how you're doing as a learner. It's a reflection video on a tech two that you just finished. So this is how we do it. Okay, first thing you need to do is make sure the audio is good because if the audio is bad, I'm not gonna accept it. So I go to my system preferences and I go to sound and then I go here to input, which is the, my eternal, internal microphone. So just the microphone, it's either up here, or it's on the side, somewhere it's on this MacBook Pro. Okay, and you can see as I'm talking, my voice is getting near this. You need it to bounce into the last three. So it's not quite there yet. Okay, Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, not quite there. Mary had a little lamb. What you don't want, you don't want it to hit the end. Okay, so you can see my voice is doing just great here. Make sure this use ambient noise reduction is turned on and then you'll get a good recording. Okay, so if we were recording way down here, it's not gonna be loud enough. I'm never gonna hear what you're saying. So make sure to adjust it. Now, every computer's different, so just adjust it. You might need to talk to it for a little bit, but that looks like a really good setting for me. It bounces into the last three, and it looks really good. Okay, so my microphone is set. Perfect. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, let me just go back to the beginning of my system preferences. I'm just gonna go up here to the magnifying glass and just do QUI. That will find the QuickTime player. I'm gonna hit enter and QuickTime player has opened. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Mr. Flick, nothing has changed. Nothing opened, but trust me, it opened because all you see up here is QuickTime player. That's the only thing you'll ever see is just the word up here changed. Let me do that again. Here we were in Chrome having fun. And then we just went here and did QuickTime player. And now it says QuickTime player. That's the only thing that changes. Okay, so QuickTime player is going. I go to file new movie recording oh here it is here it is okay so i've got my um video working here uh, i can see my audio is working really nice here so everything's good and i can go ahead and record this so i press record and then i'm just going to go back to chrome here and i'm going to answer the questions because i don't need to see myself i know what i look like and i'm going to answer the question so here we go well, hello, Mr. Flick. This is my QuickTime video, my proof of work video, I should say, for the first Tech 2, which of course, <coughs> excuse me, is the one about how to get high resolution images of a Meerkat. So here are the questions here. What part of this Tech 2 surprised you? Well, I was really surprised at how easy it was to get high resolution images because I've also been doing it wrong this whole time. What do you think the most important thing you've learned from doing this Tech 2? always go and select large from the choice menu there on how to find images. What part of this tech two challenge you the most? Giving up my old habits of dragging things off the thumbnails, dragging the thumbnails. I had to give that up. And how do you feel about the final product? I think you're going to really like my meerkats. They're really, really great. Okay. So I'm finished. I go back to this. I press stop. Now, this is what I've noticed here. Okay, so I've got a 55 second proof of work video. That is great. Let me go back and listen to this. Well, hello, Mr. Flick. This is my quick time video, my proof of work video. I okay, audio is good. My framing is good. I'm not cutting my head off. Everything is looking good. I'd say for the first tech two, which of course, <coughs> okay, so I got a little bit of a cough there, but just leave it in there. This does not have to be professional, perfect. You can actually see yourself. You can see the camera right there in my shot. So that's what I'm looking for you to do. Just make this video of you answering those four questions. Keep it around two minutes, okay? And I don't want it like 10 seconds long. I need to have some type of reflection that you're doing here. And just be honest about how you feel about this process. And you'll do this time and time again. So we've got it done. I'm going to go up here to File, Save. And of course, I'm going to go find my folder. What do we do? We put on the desktop there. Desktop. Uh, da, 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 da. Or do we put it in documents? Oh, there we go. Desktop. Tech 2s. Projects 2022. First Tech 2. And I'm going to call this POW for proof of work. First Tech 2. 
Okay, I'm going to save that in my first Tech 2 folder. Now, obviously, if it was my proof of work video for podcasting, I would change the name of that or animation level one, whatever. You just change the name of what your proof of work video is and I save that. All right, now it's saving. Let me go in there and just check to make sure everything is looking good. Desktop, Tech 2 projects. Okay, so inside my first Tech 2, I have my three high resolution images and now I have a proof of work video this thing is ready to turn in. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you about how to turn in um, your project to be graded, okay? There we go.